Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Today, we're gonna go over six essential cutting tools for the sewing room. The first step to creating something is cutting it out. And throughout the process, you always need a cutting tool. Maybe you're cutting multiple layers. Maybe you have pesky little threads you need to cut. Maybe you need to finish an edge. Well, we have got all the tools here that you need for your sewing room. So let's go over my six favorite essential cutting tools. The first thing we're gonna start with is just a classic pair of Ginger scissors. You always need a pair of scissors around because you're always going to be cutting something. Maybe you need to cut a sleeve to make it shorter. Maybe you need to cut out an entire dress. Classic pair of scissors will do that for you perfectly. And if you're going to have just one cutting tool, make sure it's a pair of scissors. Speaking of scissors, if you have ever seen an Italian tailor cutting out a suit, you've probably seen what is ginormous pair of scissors. They love using these super heavy oversized scissors to cut out the suiting fabric and they are really awesome. So I definitely recommend trying them out. Watch how easy they cut through this denim. What? Amazing. And recently I got this pair of vintage tailoring shears and they are made in the Soviet Union. How cool, right? And these are so light because they are made of aluminum and they have steel blades. Let's try them out. Woo! Cotton fabric like butter over here. My second favorite cutting tool is just the regular old rotary cutter. These are so great for cutting next to patterns precisely and amazing for curves. All you do is pull back that blade and give a little push. Let's try it out. Look at how smooth this cuts right through the fabric. Oh, of course it missed, means I need a new blade. Um, but generally this just cuts so smooth right through the fabric so fast. I also love it because I don't have to use the chopping motion with the scissors. So it's nice and easy on the hand and all you need to do is push. So in replacement of scissors, when you're cutting out your patterns, you can always use a rotary cutter. If you're enjoying this video so far on cutting tools, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. Now let's get back to talking about cutting tools. My third favorite cutting tool are snips. It is great to have these easy little snips because when you need to cut a thread, it's just so easy on your hand. You don't have to get out the giant pair of scissors to cut one little thread. So the motion is nice and small on your hand. They come in a variety of shapes. These ones here are unicorns. I love them. They're so cute and they're sharp. And then my favorite pair right now are these orange Fisker ones. They just cut really nice. They snap back really easy and they are just wonderful. So I always have these right next to my sewing machine so that way I can cut all my threads. Number four are these crazy zigzag scissors which are called pinking shears. So these are awesome for finishing the edge of a piece of fabric. So you're doing a quick alteration on a shoulder or a side seam and you don't wanna set up the serger or the zigzag stitch. All you need to do is take these scissors and cut the edge of your fabric and it prevents it from fraying. So awesome. These are really nice to have around when you just need to finish a quick edge. Number five are applique scissors. Check out how funky these scissors are. They basically have a little wing on them. So that's gonna be on the bottom. And these are great for cutting out appliques or I love using them when I have to cut some threads from an embroidery because they allow you to get really close to the surface and you're not gonna damage it. Number six, my favorite, but not necessary, the electric rotary cutter. This baby will cut up to 20 layers of thin fabric at one time, and it is smooth as butter. And yes, you can lose a finger on it, so make sure you wear a chainmail glove when you're using it. But let's give it a try so you can see how amazing it is. Got a few pieces of denim here. We're gonna layer them up. I got three pieces of denim. I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna keep my fingers out of the way, and I'm gonna lay it right here before the blade, and here we go. Just like butter, look at that, so smooth. I just love the electric rotary cutter, but it is so dangerous, so you have to be so careful when you're using it. Another great thing about it is that you don't have to have a cutting mat, you just have to have a flat surface, because the bottom of it glides along the table, so it's not 
cutting into the surface like a rotary cutter does that's manual. So that is my absolute favorite cutting tool, but also the most dangerous. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these cutting tools with me today. These are all my favorites in my sewing room. I would love to know what your favorites are too, so make sure you leave it down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed watching my video today on six essential cutting tools for your sewing room. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to follow on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois. And you can also take them virtually, so check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!